Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Inspirox Sounds Day Rambles. Today we're doing music, thank goodness. And we're doing the new Black Pink mini album called, what's it called? I think it's called Square Up. Yeah. And so let's jump right into it. It's only four songs, and I'm very excited for this. So let's jump right into Do, 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 Do. If I butcher that, I'm so sorry. Recording this on my phone, so hopefully it works, everything works great. It's already amazing, right off the bat. I only heard it like a little bit from the, they gave a little teasers on YouTube about it, which I thought was pretty cool, only like 10 seconds or, what, or whatever, and that already sounds all right, it's already got me in. I like how they always switch it up. They always have a bunch of switch ups in their songs, and that works. So good. I am already in love with the song. The beat is fantastic. You probably can't hear that good because I have a not a great computer. Uh, it was great 2011, but that's about it. Uh, but other than that, this so far has been really good. Actually, I listened to the first song with my headphones on, and it goes hard and with the bass is so good. switch up for days and I love it it is so good actually it's all the music videos so incredible wish I knew how to do that but I don't <laughs> so That was amazing. <laughs> it was so freaking good. They had at least five switch ups in the song, which is so refreshing because it's not the same recycled thing. I loved it. I am so good. This A plus plus it's like an infinity plus. Oh my god, it's so good. The song is great. It's like it's just amazing. Just an amazing song. The beat is super sick. The, I like how they flip between English and uh, Korean. I really do like that a lot. Um, the switch ups in the song were, like I said, were really good. The dance break was good. Oh my god. So good. So I'm just going to jump into the next song. It's called Forever Young. And this one I only heard like a little snippet on iTunes. And so let's listen to that. I like how it's different from the first song. It's shown more of a uh, variety of types of songs that they can do. Okay, so far I do like the song. Um, 
But that part right there, I feel like I've heard that like a bunch of times in a bunch of songs. So hopefully they switch it up more in the song because I know I've definitely heard that a bunch of times. Um, I feel like that kind of needs to go away to be quite honest. I still like the song a lot, but I'm just saying it's been done a lot. But let's keep listening. <laughs> Okay, I was not expecting that switch up at the end. That was really cool. I really love that one. Um, I'll give this one, I'll give this a B plus just because I've heard that beat so many times, but I still really enjoy the song. So, I mean, there was nothing wrong with it. I just feel like I've been hearing that a lot. The first song, I've not heard that at all. Like, it was fresh. It's cool. I love that. This one, I feel like they were trying to go a little bit more into the mainstream route, which I don't mind because I feel like they deserve any type of success they can get because they are awesome. Also, as I'm recording this video, they're like number five on iTunes in the U.S. And I think the songs are, let's see, I think the first one is at 72. There's another one like at 140 something. That's a, me recording this. It probably will be up way up by the time I actually post this because I got a bunch of stuff I had to do today but I was like let me go ahead and record some stuff <laughs> so anyway the next time I'm going to jump into is really so let's jump into that <laughs> Sounds really familiar as well. Oh, it sounds like Fifth Harmony's Work From Home. That, yeah, it sounds a lot like that. Um, they definitely have similarities in it. It's not like a complete like, sample or anything, but it has def definite similarities in it. Still like it though. Um, let's keep listening. Okay, so that was a pretty decent song. I'll probably give this one uh, another B. I enjoyed it, but not as much as the first song. Uh, the first song, that's going to be the pinnacle for me for right now. But um, I really did enjoy the song. Um, it didn't have as many switch-ups in there as I would like. I would like a little bit more uh, switch-ups. But I do like how they use a lot more English words this time. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so... Overall, it was still a really good song. I really did 
still enjoy it, but I didn't love it, love it, love it. Uh, so the final song is called See You Later, so let's jump into that one. Ooh. I already like the beat so far. It sounds really cool. I really like it. Okay, that's a good switch right there. I love that bass drop. Love that. I also like how um, the second drop, they added a little bit more something extra. Like when they came back to the actual like uh, verses, they added a little bit something extra in there, which I thought was pretty cool because a lot of people don't do that. Like kind of like what they did in uh, really, they just kind of kept it kind of all the way together or under really. Really or forever young, one of those, they, yeah, it was under really. Where they just kind of kept it throughout. I like how they add certain little things to make it a little bit different. So I really enjoyed that. That was really good. And that's the end of the mini album, um, or the EP. I really loved it. Um, I'll give this song, I'll give this song an A plus as well because it was really good. It was very, like I said, they added different elements to um, the verses when they came back around, and the same thing to the drops as well. So I really enjoyed that, and I liked the bridge going to the final um, chorus. I really did love that as well. So overall, I would give the entire EP at A. Um, would have been A plus if our songs were a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more, had more oomph in it. But they were still really good songs. I still really enjoyed them. I will be playing them a lot on my workout playlist. I mean, a lot, a lot. So like I said, it was still really good. But the first song, that was just some next level stuff right there. That was really good. And I really enjoyed it, like I said, and I think that's going to do it for this video. So tell me what you think down below in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think of the EP. Do you like it? Disliked it? Do you agree? Disagree? Very interested to know what y'all think about it. Because I hope they have a bunch of success. I feel like I like them more than BTS. Just saying. Um, yeah. Really good songs. I love them. They are great. Can't wait to see what they do because uh, I saw the video for uh, the first song. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> anyway, that's what I do for this video. So if you like this video, please get a like, comment down below, tell me what you think, and any other suggestions for any other music. Also, let me know down below. And if you want to suggest TV shows or movies, suggest them as well. And I'll see you on my next video. And if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. Bye, everybody.